Testing, testing, testing. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Boki here, uh, just giving you the greatest, uh, greatest ever content on YouTube. That's uh, having a microphone and having gameplay in the background. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you can actually hear it right now, it's kind of echoey. Uh, I moved out pretty much everything in my man cave. And, um, yeah, moving out of the house, going into a new place, it's going to be nice, but it's a lot of work. But, yeah, it's probably going to be echoey for this commentary. Uh, and this is going to be kind of like more of a rant-style, loosey-goosey type of video. Because, I'll just say it right now, I cannot keep up with multiplayer games. Modern multiplayer games, these AAA, live-service, battle-pass games, okay... After a long day of work, right? I mean, sometimes throughout the day, I might actually be thinking about gaming. I might be thinking about playing a game in mind, right? I go up to my man cave, I turn on the computer, and I just find myself staring at my desktop and thinking, I'm not even having fun playing these games. Like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself, okay? I don't want to play these games. And of course, some games are better than others, but it's just like, uh, what are we doing here, okay? You will have... Because uh, back in the day, right, like, for, like Fortnite was the North Star, right? It was this uh, free-to-play game, and it had this battle pass, and you can earn all these different skins and different items, right? And, uh, and we were, I think everyone was all for that, right? Hey, you make it to the very end of the battle pass, you can even get the next battle pass. Uh, and at the end of the day, we were okay with the game being free, offering these services, right? Nowadays, dude, you get a game like Modern Warfare 2... The biggest scam of all time, I mean, all these games are scams, but this game not, it isn't free. It's $70 for the basic edition of the game, and it goes upwards to like 100 bucks for the vault edition. And then on top of that, you're basically playing through two battle passes, right? Uh, the regular one, that's a $10 premium track, and then you get the $30 Black Cell Super Turbo Deluxe Premium track with different progression, okay? And then on top of that, it currently has $375 worth of downloadable content, okay? And then on top of that, if that wasn't enough, that doesn't include the 112 in-game skin packs that sell for $20 each. So if you put all of that together, that's over $2,200. Like, God forbid you play any other game, right? Like, all these developers and, and, and the, just these new marketers and these game publicists and, and these guys that make these new games, they make it such a chore. Like, you have to play just their game and only their game. They are the anti-fun police. I just can't... I just don't want to play games anymore. Like, I, I just get overwhelmed. And if you don't play a game for a long time... Not only does your skill kind of fall off, but you, the meta changes, right? Because the, the, the seasons are always changing. Your friends might be grinding that game the whole time, and then you get back into it, and you're like, I can't even keep up with you. I can't even keep up with you anymore. Um, but, you know, I look at the demographics of my videos, those that watch my videos, and it's roughly 24 to 34, right? And I'm smack dab in the middle. Uh, I'm 29 years old. So you know, back in the day, what I remember is, like in 2008, right, when I was in middle school, it, it, the whole mantra was like, okay, you grind for the item, uh, whatever it is, it might be a skin, it might be some cosmetic thing, you'll get the item if you play it enough, right? If you grind enough, you'll get that it's item, done. okay? And it's it's fair game. Everyone can put the same amount of time in and get that same item, mm -hmm. right? And then progress just a few more years, right? Around 2012, you know, they realized, hey, you know, we can make this pay to win. We understand that people have really busy lives. They'd much rather pay for, you know, to kind of skip through that. And you can pay us and we'll give you the item, right? Which I understand, right? You might have a wife. You might have kids. You might have, you know, you have other priorities in life, right? Totally fine. I get it. But then a few years after that, it was like 2016 where, you know, you had Rainbow Six Siege and you had Overwatch. And it was like, pay us, and then we'll give you the chance to unlock the items. You know, you had the, the loot boxes, and then you pay all this money to maybe get an item, which was exhausting as well. And uh, on top of that, imagine if you're not paying money. Imagine grinding the whole time and maybe getting an item, right? That's just, that's just silly. And then today, what we've decided is totally fine, and what we're all going to pay for is, well, pay us, and we'll let you grind for the item. Also, pay us more, and then you can skip that grind. It's like, w what are we doing? here whenever i get into a game and i realize they're going to be implementing this fomo type of shit right where you know it, it's so rare to have a grind game anymore that's worth playing that doesn't try to make you grind on a schedule like you're literally showing up for work and this isn't specific to just like first person shooters or shooters in general because uh, you got diablo 4 you know a game i was super excited about and now they, okay, 
okay, here's season one. Okay, delete your character. Oh, actually, don't delete your character. Make a brand new character. Grind through season one. And then here, we're going to put a time frame on it. So you have to grind this game, and you can't play any other game. Okay, don't even try it. Okay, you got to put all your time and effort into this game because there's all these rewards. Okay, and then we're going to shut off season one. And then, guess what? You have to get rid of that character, make a brand new one for the next season. It's like, this is a game that really even doesn't have to be online all the time. You can't pause this game, right? If you're in a dungeon and, you know, something were to come up, your dishwasher is broken or something, you can't run out, you can't just pause the game. I mean, it's an ARPG where you could definitely do that. Um, but for some reason, they made it online only and uh, because they want to give you money. Or, sorry, they want you to pay all the money in the world to keep up with the game, okay? I don't know where I'm going with this, guys, but I want to know if anyone else is feeling this because I just get overwhelmed with games now. And, you know, the beginning might be nice and cozy, and then <laughs> they're like, okay, well, those really cool things you wanted, like like Halo, Halo Infinite, right? It's like, we don't have co-op uh, campaign to start off with. We don't have forge mode. We don't have, you know, like the, the cool maps and the game modes that you always like in Halo. We're going to have that like a year and a half later and uh, hopefully you don't stop playing the game then. Live service games can be done right, and they can be done really poorly. And as of late, I feel like every game I get into, live service just absolutely destroys it. And again, there's good examples of this. Like Deep Rock Galactic, they introduced a game pass that's 100% free. There's no need to spend your money. And then all the items in it will be added to the regular random loot pool after that season pass is finished. So there's no fear of missing out either. That's how they should be done. And... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I never would have thought I would enjoy the single player experience more than the multiplayer experience. But nowadays, it's like, okay, single player experiences, it's like, okay, well, here's the whole game. Here's what the developers are presenting to you. It's a full game. We're not going to drip feed content. I mean, there might be DLC, but the base edition of the game, the base game is pr pretty good. You know, there's actually things to do and you can play it at your own pace. And even a game like Mafia 3, a game like this, right? It's good to look at. The story's really nice. Um, you can take your time with it. And people say, you know, this this game reportedly had a lot of bad reviews uh, to begin with uh, when it first came out. But I can get over that compared to, I guess I can tolerate it way more than what we've been putting up with in multiplayer games nowadays. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I've been I've been playing single player games a lot more, and plus I've been I've been really busy anyway. But um, yeah, I mean, multiplayer games are really exhausting. Live service games are exhausting. Battle passes, uh, season passes are absolutely exhausting. And developers just want you playing their game and only their game, and this is the way they're gonna do it. And uh, I just wanted to rant about it because uh, uh, I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting bored of it. And that's just why I might be playing single player games more often because I, you know, I, I enjoy the experience more. Um, it's more laid back. It's more relaxing. It's what, it's that feeling I used to get with gaming, you know, it's just the joy of the game, right? A complete version of the game. Um, and I don't have to feel like it's a job. I can play it whenever I want. I can pause it whenever I want, right? Um, but yeah, guys, I talked a lot here. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, like and subscribe if you like content like this. I know it wasn't really, uh, it wasn't really concise and narrowed down and scripted and all that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think and let me know what you think about live service games and where we're at with gaming as a whole. And yeah, guys, we will see you in the next one. Later. Hey, this is your boy Bulky. Can't make it to the phone right now, but leave a message and I'll get back to you. Peace. Listen, Bulky. I love your gaming videos on YouTube, and I understand what you're saying, but it's not all doom and gloom for gaming like what you're describing here. You're probably just burnt out from games in general, and that's okay. Stay calm. All you have to do is drop around $800 on the game when it launches like I do. Being a whale isn't as bad as it seems. Just get over it. Anyways, the summer is coming to a close. Quit staring at screens and touch some grass. Subscribe to Bokey.